All right, you've got a swung glass vase. In this case, a persimmon one by Viking Glass. So what you want to do, I know this isn't exactly like neat looking, but I took a piece of bubble wrap and I made the top wider so that it will fit in a uh, somewhat uniform cylindrical tube, okay? And then you take a box. This one's from uh, that one big place, famous for boxes. Big box store is what you call it. Oh, 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 I don't condone it. So you take a half a box, this is cut in half, and it's, I began by comparing size. So this box is slightly taller than the vase right here if you include the flaps, because it's unfolded, okay? So uh, you find the right size box, you cut it in half, as long as that's going to be enough to wrap around the vase that you're talking about, and then you score it lengthwise like this. And then I'll show you what we do there. Alright, now we've made the cardboard tube. You see in there, there's a vase. And I'm going to paper pack the ends of this. And then I'm going to cut the ends right here so that it goes down to the paper, and then I'm going to fold that in and tape it, and I'll show you. Alright, so it doesn't have to be pretty, it just needs to hold the thing. And this is what our tube looks like. Cut apart another box, Ooh. and I'd make a big rectangle box out of it, a tall rectangle box. And that way it's much cheaper to ship, it's like usually 10 to $20 to ship a big vase, even like 24 inches tall, instead of uh, using a whole box to ship it. So yeah, that's my advice on how to ship swung glass vases. This is awesome, best I can afford antiques